Welcome to, or welcome back to, Loveland, a funny indie horror game, or I, I shouldn't say funny, a good indie horror game that has little froggies in them. So if you have me, gush, like, if you see me gushing over frogs, you're just gonna have to deal with it, because I grew up, like, in a village, and every time I visited my grandma, me and my brother would always, like, catch froggies with our bare hands. We were so skilled, we did not need nets. We just like, use our lightning-fast hand reflexes, boom, and just grab them by legs, very gently, of course, without harming them. Then we'd put them in a bucket, and then watch them be silly, and then put them back. Fun times. But otherwise, uh, I played the demo. Wait, when did I play it? Not too long ago. Oh damn, 2020 of September! Of course, I'll put it in the card up above so people can check out how the game used to be, and, you know, be able to compare how the game's developed over the years. Uh, otherwise, it looked interesting, and new demos coming out, uh, or had come out, thanks to the Steam Next Fest, and we're gonna give it a try. Now, all I remember was, we drive in a car and we go in a trailer park, investigate the trailer parks, and then go into a main house. That's what I remember from two years ago. Ooh, wouldn't you, Vipers? The interactabilities, I love it! What's in the tape? For the last couple of months, there have been several missing persons reported out of Loveland, Ohio. Initially, we had very little to go on, until about one week ago. Mr. Buchanan, a resident of a small trailer park on the outskirts of town, contacted the Loveland authorities to report strange happenings from within the park. He claimed that the other members of the community had begun worshipping frogs and have formed a cult whilst also kidnapping the local townsfolk. We are dispatching you to investigate these reports and determine exactly what it is we are dealing with. Quickies. Good luck, detective. We know you'll need it. Huh, interesting. Uh -huh. uh, my flashlight, it's the only piece of equipment the agency has provided. Uh, it's my mapping kit. I've already sketched out the surrounding areas. Excellent. Alright, let's see. Mission briefing. Eight days ago, Agency Communication Operations, or ACO, intercepted a phone call directed toward Loveland Police Department. Mr. Bush... Bushnam? Bushnam? Bu Buxnam? Bu <laughs> Bush... Is it Bushanan? Bushanan? Is that an A or an S? It's hard to tell. But anyways, a resident of a small trailer park on the outskirts of town known as Loveland Cove was contacting local authorities to report cult-like behavior from within the park. Mr. Whoever, wait, on that one we gotta try, Bukunan, uh, who reside in the trailer 102, indicated that the resident had begun worshipping a new species of frog that's emerged from the lake. This has led to the residents committing various atrocities in the name of the frogs, including but not limited to abductions and homicide. You have subsequently been dispatched out of the area to investigate these reports and determine if anomalous activities have occurred. Remember, Detective, you are to operate in complete secrecy. Do not divulge any information that may compromise you or the agency. Oh. My agency bad probably shouldn't go waving this around unless absolutely necessary. Yeah. I mean, I want to keep the uh, windows... I don't want the frogs jumping in. That's why it's like I could roll these... Hmm? I could actually roll open the windows. That's funny. I don't want frogs jumping in. And then there's a, a douchebag biker driving by. It's 9pm, so I won't wish slow death of them. But otherwise, um... I guess we can get out. And close the door. Yep. Froggies. I want to see the froggies. You chunky froggy. This must be one of the frogs. Interesting. It resembles the Surrey named Toad. It's excreting some kind of substance. Could be anomalous. Better not touch it. If I even pronounce that prior word right. Press tab to open map. Oh. Are we going to mark out the guest to trailers over time? What if I like, run into them? I should start by checking in on Bukanan. I guess it is Bukanan. He said 102. Oh, having a map is so helpful. The map is almost just as I remember. But probably a lot more polished. Probably in the past demo it was a lot more... Um, 
Why did all the street lights suddenly lose power? Ah, map. Yeah, the house, I remember. It looks like I need some kind of medallion to unlock the gate. Alright, so 102, the f second on the left. But I think, like, everything just got more detailed, perhaps. Also, what is this shiny... Whoa. Ooh, foggy effect. I think. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And a jumping. I saw this shining, though. They came from the water with their gift to bring unto us eternal bliss. Just a drink, whispers say. A oh, little typo, but whatever. Whipsers. Embrace warmth, fade away. Let him in, they begin. You'll be one. You'll carry his kin. I don't want to get no fucking frog in... Like, I don't want to get no impregnation by no frog. They're putting the chemicals in the water, I tell you. I'm sorry, did I step on you, frog? Uh, anyways, there's this house, right? Yes. I think I recall... Oh, interaction. Leaving all the sink faucets on, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm trying to remember things I did two years ago. It's kind of problematic. Hmm. That heathen Jeremiah went to the cops. Gather the flock. We need to be ready in case they come around sniffing where they shouldn't be. As for Jeremiah, find him, bring him to me. The Lord has special ways of dealing with a Judas. <laughs> Pastor Abrams. I don't trust no... Fucking Abrams now. When the frogs first showed up, I thought they were harmless. Hell, maybe even a little cute. Boy, oh, was I wrong. Just touching one sends you flying higher than a kite. Not only that, you feel the strong connection, almost like God Himself was calling out to you. That must, must be a strong effort, DJ, on those frogs. It wasn't long before Pastor Abrams was holding up the frogs, declaring them our savior, and everyone believes him. Now people from town are showing up as missing. The frogs, like, it's just, uh, they just become toad lickers, and uh, it just, the rest is history. Excuse me? Hey, ex Let me guess you're gonna stop showing up. Hmm. Huh. Well, whatever. I'll put that away. No more noises. Hmm. Oops, all bones. Chicken tip nibble. Oh, God, I hate that. Oh, chicken tip nibblers. Hmm. Anyways. Frog repellent. One part. Ah, yeah. Lemon juice vinegar. Mix in the pot. Bring to a boil. Pour, pour, pour into frog spay and apply liberally to frog. And if you bottle, I can fill this with a frog repellent. Okay. Just have to find all the ingredients. Oh, I love the interactions. Ah, white vinegar. <gasps> Wait. I wonder if I can find bread. And put it in the toaster. Make it like a secret, like one of the fucking trailers has like a slice of bread for an achievement. You need to find the bread, then come to the toaster. Um, unless there's tons of toasters. By the way, with that now, we have to roam into all these trailer parks and find our ingredients then. No answer, but... oh. It's unlocked. Coming in. Of course, they're all watching me. A few. Who's? Yeah. Pick up crickets and mealworms from the bait shop. Feed children. Check in on Jeremiah. Traitorous bastard in 104. Change out the jugs and the stills and bathe in his glory. Frog shine. What is this? Moonshine mixed with frogs? I should bring a sample of this back to the lab. And they really love eating bones and... Chicken tip nibblers. Hmm. Well, I guess that's everything in here. Wonder if I should put the moonshine in the car or not. 
Actually, you should leave the door open. Gotta remind myself where I've been and haven't been, just in case I forget later on. Truck. Oh. Ooh, crowbar. Good thing I just checked. And the door is locked. Might be able to come back later. Okay. Is it on the map? Oh, cool! They even have, like, the playground and the truck there, just in case. It's, it'd be hard to really get lost in a tiny map like this one, but... Yeah, who is it? This is new. Uh... It's me, your neighbor. Um... I highly doubt lying that bluntly is going to work with people that are possibly... Uh... I'm with the police. Good evening, I'm with the police. I've got a few questions about missing persons last seen in this area. You talking about those missing folks from around town? I ain't seen any of them around here. Uh... Uh, you haven't noticed anything suspicious. Are you sure you haven't noticed anything strange going on around the area? Residents acting out of the ordinary? Nope, not a damn thing. Now, officer, would you kindly get the hell off my porch? Uh, well, just turned off all the lights. Well, like the uh, intro said, may as well not flop around that I am an agent. Turning off all the lights suspiciously, are we? We're going to bed. It's like ruining their privacy, beaming my beaming my light into their trailer. But I don't know. Until it's unlocked or I need to force my way in. Is that actually me stepping on them accidentally? I wonder if I, like, can get a bad ending if I piss off the frogs too much. Oh. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. This is... Oh, no. This is not a good sign. I killed a frog. Did I piss off the frog people, or... Is it just the aphrodisiac? Hopefully it wears off. Wait. That fuse is missing. Good thing I found one earlier. There sh the gate should be powered now. Alright, but we still need the emblem, though. Just gotta be careful not to step on the frogs repeatedly. This time. Looks like the drug wore off. I'm the perfect vessel, hear them whispering to me, I feel them inside of me, I tell my love soon they will be free. Hmm. And same stuff in the fridge. I look upon the lake and know my time is drawing near. I should be overjoyed, but all I feel is disappointment. I thought Thomas would be proud that the Lord chose me as a vessel for his children. Yeah. Instead, he raised his voice in an anger that could only be matched by the fiery pits of hell. But what was I to do? Deny the Lord his children? I couldn't do that, so here I wait alone. Forever alone, huh? Who should I call? Call True Believer Radio. Agency hotline called Timmy Tom's Pizza. Hell yeah! I want to order a pizza. You got Timmy Tom's Pizza Bomberia? Uh, ooh. Pepperoni, obviously. I'd like to order a pepperoni pizza, please. One meat lover's pepperoni. Pep pep. What? You ordered five five ninety nine. That's pretty good. It'll be delivered sometime in the next ten minutes. If not, your pizza's free. Thanks, see you then. Maybe get to bribe one of the villagers with pizza. Wait. They probably have a specific order then. Shit. Let's hope that whoever wants a pizza possibly in this demo wants pepperoni. But if they're like frog worshippers, it looks like a piece of a medallion. Yeah, if they're worshippers, I would imagine... 
Hmm, anchovies? I wouldn't think frog people would like Hawaiian. Oh. The hell's going on? Turn on the air conditioner. Hatching day? Anything else I'm missing just in case? Thomas is the most enchanting man I've ever met. As the Lord speaks through him, I can't help but hang upon his every word. He says the Lord speaks of a second great flood that will come and wash away the wickedness of this world. But he promises that if we devote ourselves to the Lord, he will shed us of our current bodies and mold us into his form. I feel no fear as I stare into Thomas's eyes. There's only a deep love. I trust him to guide us. He is our Messiah. Okie dokie, then. Hmm. Is something happening out on the lake? Bear witness to their birth? Wait, what? It looks like they're wearing green. It'd be funny if they were like wearing frog costumes like uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. Hmm. Can't turn on the light. Oh, there we go. You... off. Otherwise, I'm gonna start looking around in the other buildings, I guess. Like this one. Oh no, is this the, oh, the spider room I hated? Oh, I remember it now. Oh no. Oh. I mean, those are mushrooms. Not as bad. Oh, ugh, that noise. I can't turn it off. The Lord has blessed us with a gift from heaven. I away to survive the upcoming end of days. We must tend to the Lord's children to love and embrace them. In return, he promises to bless us with new form, one that can withstand 40 days and 40 nights of torrential rain. Yet while we toil in his garden, feeding and breeding, cultivating this gift with the local heathens, taint it. They dilute it, poisoning it, muddying his word. These sinners will never truly be saved. I wonder if the pizza delivery guy is still here. <laughs> right, let's try to maybe get in and out of this place as quickly as possible so we can... It's covered in some kind of goop. Maybe I should clean it off before taking it. It is part of the broken medallion. Uh -huh. Oh jeez, I probably should have cleaned that off. I wasn't given a choice! <laughs> oh god. Ah, uh, I mean, ugh. As soon as I touched it, it didn't, it like grabbed it without me... Oh. Sounds like my pizza's here. Great time to get it when I'm fucking stoned by frog mucus. I don't know, I didn't have a choice. They, like, my character grabbed it. I'm not sure if that's a bug. Also, I'm sorry, frog. Hey man, get your pie right here. It'll be five nut. yeah. Keep the change. Thanks, dude. Smell you later. It smells absolutely delicious. Alright, maybe I can bribe him with a pizza. Uh, maybe not. Alright, another house. I'm pretty sure there's a high chance that my, like, maybe I'd get abandoned. If this was the full game and I've touched the goop at least once, I'm probably screwed. You probably have, like, a limit of how many times you can accidentally touch the toads. Ugh. Probably.
My little boy Timmy is finally ready for the end of days. I won't lie, I didn't trust Abram at first. Forcing a child to drink alcohol seems like madness, but he kept insisting he drank the frog shine. And wouldn't you know it, it worked. Timmy's taken on the Lord's form and is ready to survive the Great Flood. Thank you, Pastor Abram. Ugh. Ah. I'm getting a lot of... God, there's enough fucking obnoxious motorcyclists out today. Wait. That tasted awful, but it... F no! S why did he just drink it? Oh my god. Why? Why? Why did... Okay, next time it shows the bottle, it means it's gonna drink it. I... Locked. I should be able to unlock it with the right... Okay. What if I keep doing it then? Fuck it. Now I'm curious. Let's just get the bad ending, if there's one. Oh. It's a demo, so we might be saved by the fact that maybe there's no bad ending. But you never know, man. Oh. Now we just need to step on a frog. Come here. Let me touch you. Yeah, wow, yeah, definitely anomalous. <laughs> It's like, whoa, man. Come on, man. Stomp. Alright, now that I'm stoned the fuck out of my mind, I'm gonna keep looking. Whoa, man. This place is a frog area. Part of a medallion. I'll possibly have it all now. Can I shower the crap away? Nothing more so bring that cold shower. Yeah, please. Well, get out of here. Oh, actually, he is helping me. Nice! I'm no longer messed up. Very nice. Okay, now just to get out of here. Thank God for the sh cold shower. Oh, hello, hello. It's locked. I wonder if there's a key around. Yoink! The key broke off in the lock. Bravo. Mixing the moonshine with the frog snot was a stroke of genius. The alcohol cuts back on the psychedelic facts, letting us stay connected to the Lord while still being able to walk and talk. I've been sneaking it to people at the bar I work at. You can always tell when it hits them. You see the Lord's love in their eyes. Usually it only takes a shot or two before they decide to join our flock. Such is the power of the Lord. Ah. Tofu? Aw, oh, man, bread could have been stored in there. Ugh, more spiders. Hmm. Oh, God, Moonshine. Anything in here? Oh, yeah, crowbar can be used there. Ah, uh, this guy made the Moonshine, huh? Come on. Hello, old man. Wait. Did it? torture device? Let him. This video appears to be hypnotic. Better cut it off. Uh, this tape has some kind of hypnotic recording. Better bring it to the lab. Are you okay, old man? Thank you for turning that off. Oh, Buganon. You've been starving me. I almost gave in. Don't tell me you're gonna ask for anchovy pizza. Who are you? Uh, it doesn't matter who I am. Whatever, listen, you need to find the caves. I got a pepperoni pizza for you, man. Abram has taken them there. Be careful, they're waiting. You want, you want some pizza? He passed out from hunger. I wonder if there's any food not doused. Yeah, I guess I gotta give him a slice of pizza. He's starving. Some pizza ought to help. Hey, man. I gave him a... Uh, oh, man, I needed that. Thank God you're not picky. Nothing beats class... I know, right? Thank God he's normal. I can think much more clearly now. What do you want to know? Oh, man. Uh, you said Abram is in the caves. How did you end up here? How did the cult form? 
Cool. I guess that's what it is, huh? Well, after the frogs showed up, Abram started to declare that they were the key to our salvation. I mean, I figured that much. He said God spoke to him and told him that another great flood was coming. Mm -hmm. He said that the only way to survive the flood was to take on the Lord's form, whatever the hell that means. Everyone believed him? Well, almost everyone. I'm in here, after all. How did you end up here? More important question, yes. I'm in here because I wouldn't listen to Abram's insane ramblings. He's convinced everyone that the end of days is coming and that the frogs are the key to surviving. Once I started seeing people who were reported as missing hanging around the park, I called the cops. I don't know how they found out it was me who called them, but here I am. Uh, when did the frogs first appear? Those fucking frogs, they've been nothing but trouble. They first showed up about six months ago. After that, it was only a matter of days before Abram had the whole park worshipping the damn things. Claiming they were the key to salvation or some shit. He's got them wrapped around his finger. You said Abram is in the caves. Once Abram started amassing followers, they all couldn't fit in the double wide during his service. So they expanded into the caves through a hole in Abram's shed. I've only been here there once. It's massive. There's living quarters, a chapel, and more. An entire cult compound located within a cave classic. How do we get in? Normally, you'd get in through the shed Abram's backyard, but when Abram heard I had called the cops, he moved everyone into the caves and chained up the entrance. If you found some kind of bolt cutters, you might be able to get in. I need to continue my investigation. Are you just going to leave me here? For now, yes. You'll be much safer here. I'll make sure someone comes to recover you shortly. Eh, uh, fine. Not like I had anything planned for the rest of the night anyways. You want some normal TV? Yeah, you can watch, uh, the Dodge commercials. And, uh, don't drink the moonshine. I'll, uh, see if I can call the... Agency? Hello. Uh, I see you've found Jeremiah. He strayed a little too far from the Lord's light. Mm, you must be Abram. Ex-pastor at Heartland Church of Christ. I see my reputation precedes me. That's to be expected for a man of my importance. That is of no matter. It would do you well to leave this land and let us worship in peace. <laughs> I'll consider it. Well, if you're all waiting to do as you worship your religion in peace, then maybe I could consider letting this all go. Come and join us in service within the caves. Question any member of my flock. You'll see that all we want to do is get along. God bless you. I mean, I say that, but I mean the... I, I'm just like, I just gotta get the gacha moment, you know? Also turn that off, I guess. I if that turns it off. Uh, I have no... Oh. oh. I should at least heat the soup for him. Wait, it's soup? I'm not gonna feed him that. That could make it worse. I can already see the bad ending in this. I mean, it's better that I gave him the pizza. I'm gonna see if I can call the agency. Thank you for calling the agency hotline. Please enter your agency bad. Uh, enter badge ID. Thank you, detective. Please choose one of the following menu options. Press one for detective tips. Verbal support. Uh, verbal support. You've chosen verbal support. You are a successful detective with a beautiful family. You can accomplish anything. Go get him, champ. Oh, I was expecting to be like, hey, can I get back up to get that guy picked up? I'll, I'll try again. Enter random numbers. This is not recognized. Okay. Okay. As long as it's not telling me how to play the game kind of thing. You've chosen detective tips. Uh, do not mention the agency in any capacity. Doing so is grounds for immediate extra... Yeah. That's okay. I'm gonna read the other rules, you know what? I'm kinda curious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. As a detective, you investigate, instigate, gather evidence, report back to the agency. Once you have enough information, leave the heavy lifting to the strike teams. Leave no trace of your personal uh, your presence. Any damage or evidence that you leave behind will need to be handled by cleanup, which will be billed to your account. And do not mention, yeah. That's why I've been doing good. But, you know, besides... Touching the frogs, drinking frog moonshine. That's kind of problematic, but whatever. Just, uh... I don't want to enter there in case it ends the demo, though. Ugh. 
spiders of all things to raise and feed to those frogs. Uh, gross. We don't need to re-enter there, I don't think. So otherwise... Whoops. Otherwise, though, I didn't get the bolt cutters, and I don't have the frog repellent. So we're not exactly done. I don't think we'd need the frog repellent in the demo, but... It's definitely implying there's going to be many endings. Or at least it feels like it. Like, if I can enter here, which might end the demo, I don't have the frog repellent like I did in the original demo. Like, I have two of the ingredients. We'll see. If not, then it just means I'll have more to do in the full game. Let's see if he's still home, or if it just continues here. Because I think the demo ended originally when I entered the gate. No answer. Impressive. Still no bread, though. The walls are covered in hand-painted portraits of Jesus. <coughs> Unless I could find more ingredients in here. Uh, unlabeled VHS tape. Um, so I need to find... A... It's padlocked. I wonder what the pastor has to hide. In the book of Genesis. Uh, the earth has come to God. It's religious mumbo jumbo. Yeah. He lamented the defilement of his name and spoke of corruption that permeates all of existence. Uh, a thick fog that dims all that is holy and righteous, rendering the world past the point of salvation. He then told me of his plans to flood the earth to drown the false prophets and idols that inundate, or inundate uh, the lands to end all mankind. He has chosen me as he did Noah. I must lead his flock to salvation. We must shed our current bodies full of sin. Apparently, he just believes the Lord's shape is something about frogs. God damn it! I don't know how he fit that in there, but uh, but this, yeah, nice. It was easy to find. Anything for the agency? No. Oh, what the surveillance? Yeah, that's how he found out who ratted on him. Loading. Oh, shit, what? The Agency, 1991. Interrogation, Uroboros, Detection, Debriefing. Good evening, Detective. Hello. I hope your investigation was a success. Please have a seat. Is this the past or the future? Uh, I don't like there being a pill Thank there. You, detective. Now, our line of work is very dangerous. Especially to those with a weak mind. To combat this, we employ the use of sodium pentothal. Think of it as a kind of truth-telling serum. Oh, huh? Now, detective, please take the pill on the desk, place it into your mouth, and then swallow it. Yeah, there's a definitely a premise. There's a little bit more to the demo. There's definitely a lot more you can do in the demo, too. But the best, I think, is to wait for the full game. Because all the things I would do in, if I were to be more thorough with this game, obviously, then it would lead to nothing. Because it's just a demo. So, if there's multiple endings in the full game, which it really implies there is, I, I like, if not, then it's just a theory. But the fact that it's like you could make the frog insecticide probably to help you ward off or maybe spray on people or spray on an enemy later. I don't remember if I used it in the original demo two years ago. But there's a lot more variables and a lot more detail. So I like the polish that the game's gotten. It's just become a lot more... What's the word? I already used the word polish, but it's the only thing I can think of. It's just gotten a lot more polished clearly over the two years, and it's becoming much 
more of a like a nice juicy indie horror that you can sink your teeth into rather than just a short quirky interesting indie horror but now it's becoming full-fledged and it's a very exciting thing to look forward to because i love froggies too and i love crunchy pixelated graphics but otherwise i hope you enjoyed loveland the demo from 2022 and if you did enjoy maybe look forward to the full game please leave a like comment hit that subscribe button become a full subscriber hit the notification down below for updates on my videos thank you for watching and until the next time Arrgh.